Hey, for the time starts, I hope all is well. Today, I want to talk about the Daniil Medvedev string setup. He's been using new strings as of 2023. It's a new string from Technifiber, and according to the racket nerds and string nerds of the Tennis Warehouse forums, Publishian, he said it's a new string from Technifiber called Razor Code Soft. And if you don't know Technifiber Razor Code, it's the stiffest strings they have in their lineup. Very stiff, firm, good for control, kind of similar in a way, in that sense, to Luxlon 4G firm round string that gives Daniel excellent control. He's been using the white version of that. And with usually the lighter the color of the string, the more lively the string it gets. So the white is probably the softest razor code you can get. I found it quite soft when I reviewed it, but now he's moved over to a carbon colored uh, called razor code soft. This is not yet out. So we will see when this string is released on the market. So uh, very curious to test that string. And if you have any more information about this, let me know in the comments. I hope to bring you a review of this string as soon as it's out to the market. Daniel is now up to three titles in a row. He's currently playing Indian Wells 2023. First round match, he beat Brandon Nakashima relatively comfortably. He's playing perhaps the best tennis, at least in a period of his life. Uh, very impressive tennis from Daniel. And uh, is it the string that helps him play this well? Well, partly it could be a kind of placebo effect. Obviously, if he likes the string, he feels better at the, on the court. Maybe it's softer on the arm. Maybe he just likes the sensation of the string more. And then that also kind of helps to create a more positive mindset, a more confidence around his, his whole game. So uh, it's partly the gear, but it's also obviously strongly connected to your mental state how you feel on the court and also technically a physical state because if you feel a better sensation when you strike the ball obviously results will be better and on, on this level on the ATP tour like the highest rung of tennis these small marginal changes makes a big difference. I talked yesterday about Sitzpas adding a dampener to his setup changing the strings tweaking and we see more and more pros open to changing their setups and trying to find more uh, in their game through gear and we're gonna see more of that in coming years because if you look at other sports that the gear is important and how connected you are to your gear and how you get used to it and, and so on so not shocked to see Daniel play well with a string he, he obviously likes a lot uh, very curious to see how the launch will be I hope for Technifiber that they get the launch out before the clay court season because that's not Daniel's favorite part of the season and he probably will play worse there so uh, obviously not hoping he would play worse, but it's generally not his favorite surface. And so I think they need to kind of strike while the iron is hot or wait for the US Open or the, that hard court swing in the US because he likes the US hard courts. He's always playing well on, on hard courts generally. And uh, yeah, this is his favorite, favorite surface and favorite kind of parts of the season. So we will see how Daniel does in the rest of the year. Will he be world number one by the year's end? Let me know in the comments. What do you think of his game? Would you be excited to try this string? Let me know that as well. And if you're working for Technifiber, please uh, hook me up with some information or at least a set to try. That would be cool. That's about Daniel's strings. I uh, try to keep track of what's happening on the tour when these kind of big tournaments are happening like Indian Wells right now. It's, it's you get more information, more data. Make sure to subscribe and watch this space if you want more information about new strings coming up, new rackets and the pro player gear and so on. I will be also releasing other types of content on the channel very, very soon. So any kind of feedback is always appreciated. And if you want to support the channel, you can also check out our sponsors like Fuzz Yellow Balls. They have this singles playbook where you learn patterns of play, how to develop your game, win points more easily, beating baseliners, pushers, counter punchers, serving volleyers, and so on. Each chapter is accompanied by a video and you have this great playbook. I bought it a year before they asked to sponsor my channel. So I'm very happy about that. Check it out. The link is in the description. Good luck to Daniel for the rest of the season. He's been on a tear and we'll see how this can keep going. Uh, once he gets going, he usually mops up tournament after tournament after tournament. We've seen it before. And if he wins Indian Wells as well, he's up to four straight titles in a row. And I think that it's a pretty amazing stat because if you look back, I think it's maybe Novak or, or Rafa who did that the last time. And it's not, it's a very rare occurrence when someone wins four tournaments in a row. Well, that's all for today. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis. Why is WTA star Daniel Collins using a different racket for doubles? I can give my thoughts in a future video. Her racket is an Aero Pro Drive 2013 or older.